Okay, modulation. There are two main types of modulation that I'll be going over. One is the amplitude modulation, which is known as uh, AM. AM radio, you know. Second one is frequency modulation, which is known as FM. So what modulation does is, from last time, the technique is um, sending a message through a carrier signal. Sending message through carrier. That is what modulation does. And you'll be sending over to long distance and uh, packing the data up. Okay, we look at uh, amplitude modulation. As it suggests, it amplitudes to, uh, it modify amplitude of the carrier signal. Okay, that's what it does. This, the first one, this is the message signal. Message signal. This is the carrier signal. And this is the AM signal, amplitude modulated signal. Typically, message with low frequency, they are not able to send through a long distance. They are not able. That's what uh, usually happens because of the limitation. You know, energy is uh, equals to HF, this formula, half is frequency. And you need high amount of energy to be able to travel long distance. So lower frequency, this H is the Planck's con something constant, I don't know forgot already so if the higher the frequency higher frequency that means it has higher energy and can travel further lower frequency means it's, it's gonna not travel that far like not that far higher frequency further that's what it is okay message signal typically has a low frequency like human talking uh, 2200 or something, 20, or something like that I don't know so we want to modulate it that means The message signal and the carrier. Message you send into it, you send into it, you modulate together, you come out with a AM signal. And this is what is produced here. A carrier signal typically has quite a high frequency because you can select it. It doesn't matter, uh, you can just design your frequency signal and select what is suitable and then you send it in. It's basically like a high speed rail or whatever you want to put it in. You put the human inside the train of a high inside the train of a high speed train and it becomes this form so this will be sent all the way to the receiver and then they have to decode it basically they'll turn they'll turn this back into the original message signal and they'll get the original message that is AAM amplitude modulation next we look at FM frequency modulation can't get it out. Okay, never mind. Okay, we look at this is the carrier, which is uh, unchanged. It doesn't change. This is the message signal. It does not change as well. But how it happens is the form it happens. Like if you're sending a letter, you can choose to send a letter. Is the, the method of sending letter. You can send it in the envelope. You can send it in a fast post express. You can send it in a package. You can send it whatever you want to send it. In. It's, it's how you want to package the letter. That's all. So in this case, what it happens is that a high amplitude of the mesh signal results in high frequency of the frequency signal of the, 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 the FM, frequent, FM signal the FM message while a low a low a low amplitude will result in a low frequency so if this might be going around 300 hertz maybe this one may be around like 20 hertz i don't i'm not too sure but i'm just giving an example here and then when it goes back high again it gets into a it clumped up together and becomes a high frequency in the in the, in the fm signal this is the so you choose what kind of train you want to board. You want to board the fancy train or the train that goes sideways, the train that goes upside down. Yeah, that's how FM works. And so this is the way. So a signal, a regular signal, can be modulated in two main ways. Uh, one is AM and one is FM. So this one, it correlates. It's very obvious. It, this one just follows it 
while the FM it's going by the high amplitude means clump them together low amplitude means spread out usually what happens is that for AM the the drawback is that amplitude can change easily Ampli amplitude is susceptible to noise susceptible to noise that's the main drawback wow so that if an amplitude here it just it changes too much or let's say you are going through some some thunderstorm or something and then the message is it, it it gets distorted and when you receive it you are not able to get back to you're not able to recover fully the message that's the main drawback this is not in the FM this is not a problem for the FM because the FM you can distort the amplitude whatever but then the frequency remains the same and when the frequency is there the frequency is not easily influenced by weather conditions or noise frequency is not easily influenced by noise yeah by external noise while amplitude is easily influenced that's the main difference between these two and that's um, that's why you have to look out for okay that's all for now see you in the next video